Dylan, don't stand in front of the camera. Hello. Hi. We're back again. And we've got Dylan with us this time. Yeah, you're a good boy, aren't you? <laughs> He'll start walking about in a minute. We thought we'd update you on everything that's going on, which is not a lot really, is it? Not a lot really. The house has been on sale for about a month. That's it. Yep. And we're not in a rush to sell it, to be honest. Uh, we've got a price in mind that we know that it's worth. And we've kind of budgeted everything around that price. So we can come down a little bit if we need to. But it's been like four weeks, so... It's not a long time, is it? We're not going to drop prices after four weeks, are we? We want a better boat, so we're going to hold out and get a better price for the house. And the longer we hold out, the more we can save as well, while we're still working, and pay debts off and things like that. So the more money we've got available, when we come to get a boat, hopefully, still get a new boat. Hopefully. <laughs> we're still in touch with a couple of boat builders, whose boats we really like. And it would be really nice if we could afford a new one. So we're not ruling that out yet. But we are still... Well, Sean is still looking at second-hand boats. Like, constantly. Every single day. Every single day. When were you last looking at second-hand boats? About an hour before we set off here. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, with the boats, it's a seller's market as well. So we notice that when... Because we've got, like, a particular price range for a used boat. And we've, when we're looking, we notice in that as soon as a, a boat within our spec and price range comes on the market it's like gone isn't it yeah it's hours yeah literally hours sometimes of it coming on you see it kind of pop up again saying that it's that it's under offer and then next day sold so uh it is a very busy market at the moment so maybe by holding out a little bit with the house and wait until in the autumn or maybe the winter uh we might be able to get a better deal yeah prices might come down a bit on a used boat prices might come down they might not we might be talking absolute gibberish we usually do. Usually do. <laughs> uh, so that's it, really, update-wise. Nothing, uh, nothing much going on. Uh, if you watch the uh, drone, uh, oh, what's so up? He wants to be off. Go off then. Go, go and walk. Play. Go, on, go, go play. And walk. No, you want no, us, you don't want, you? You want to stay here with us, don't you? Hey, S steal the camera. <laughs> Get in front of the cap. Yeah, yeah you're there a good you boy. Go. So if you saw the drone video the other day. You might have seen the update on Twitter where I actually managed to crash the drone. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Uh, the people that make it, DJI, had a look at the flight logs and uh, there's like a load of electrical, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? Mechanism? Mm, some of, yeah. Stuff going on around the lock at uh, Woodnut Lock. And it created like this magnetic interference with the drone. It's and probably just the cables into this. I don't know. I don't understand it. To cut a long story short, I was trying to fly the drone right off the mechanism, literally like feet away from the mechanism. So all the electric magnetic interference uh, messed with the GPS in the drone and it just came crashing down. Luckily, it was only about four feet high. It went into some nettles and bushes. So it was all right. If it had gone the other way. If it had gone four feet the other way, it would have gone straight in the canal. Game over. Thousand pounds worth of drone, gone like that. Uh, so we've learned from that. So if you've got a drone or you're getting a drone, be careful around electric operated locks. There you go, lesson learned. Don't do it. Are you enjoying Dylan walking up and down the canal? He's starting to get a bit frustrated because we're sat here doing nothing. <laughs> well, according to him, we're doing nothing. Off he goes again. Uh, we noticed on Twitter that we've got uh, just over 400 followers as well. Where's that coming from? I have no idea. Uh, thank you if you're following us. Uh, if you're not following us, it's Foxes Afloat. Can't believe. We haven't even got a boat yet and people are following us. It's ace, isn't it? It's brilliant. This is the calmest I've seen him. Eh, you've got to be quiet. It's very unusual we bring him out because he's got really bad arthritis and uh, he, he'll really feel it later. He'll be struggling yeah, he to will. get up. <laughs> oh, we know you want to get off. And you bark like a girl. Yeah. You want to get off running, don't you? I know what we can do. Oh. We have bought a boat. Yes, we have. It cost us £60. It's an absolute bargain. <laughs> do you want to see it? This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. Right, here's a new boat. Let's take it for a, a what, a spin? A spin. A spin. Oh, I'm dreading this. Here we go. I'm gonna get wet. No, I'm gonna get wet. 
<laughs> Actually, that was better than I was thought. I thought we were gonna go rocking about. Oh, this is cool. I'm loving this. It might not be a 60 foot narrowboat, but I'm getting used to this. This is cool. It's away. <laughs> This is just so cool, this is so relaxing. Uh, cheers to Dan for the idea. It's just an inflatable kayak, 60 quid's worth of inflatable kayak, and it is just so cool, loving it. Right, Sean's turn now. Right, let's show Colin how it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All mouth. All mouth. All mouth. Be careful because it does wobble a bit when you get the nah. first foot in. I'm a sailor. Gay sailor. You all right? <laughs> yes. <coughs> Just right? keep filming. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Do that again, I didn't catch it. <laughs> I can't get out. Are you alright? Yeah. You need an? No. I might do. <laughs> Where are you getting out? Yeah. Is it? But, uh, yeah. Get all the thing, let me pull this out. Uh, it cooled me down. Uh, you ready? Yeah. <coughs> you alright? Yeah. Watch the nettles. <gasps> oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to use a kayak. It's not funny. <laughs> At least it's not cold. It's crazy quite warm in there. Yeah. I thought it'd be cold because you've got the river coming straight through as well. The river water. So, <sighs> uh, if you enjoyed that, uh, click like and comment and subscribe. <laughs> click subscribe. Oh, you're not getting any car like that. I am. You can kayak all the way home. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.